Hey guys, today we have for you, um, I guess this would be my part two in this Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 uh, series. The first one I had was, the, was a week after. This one is obviously a little bit more than a week after. I use this a lot. I use it all the time. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I haven't been using it as much lately because I've been... Uh, testing and using the HTC One for everything so I could get a better feel for it. But this is my go-to tablet now. And on this one, we are going to talk about some things that you guys have asked me in comments on some of the other videos that include this, which I'll leave links for the unboxing down below. I'll leave a link for all the things that we're gonna look at today. And I will also leave a link for the week one, one week with it uh, video that I did down below. Uh, you guys seem to like that one. All right, so let's get into some accessories. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video is the accessories that I've been using with this device. Now, if you've seen the unboxing video, I'm using the Logitech keyboard case um, with this. And it's actually connected now. So I will put this in here to give you guys a little feel on how it looks and how it functions. And it functions fantastic. Um, let me back up a little bit more here. Um, it's be this is probably what I leave on 75 to 80 percent of the time. Um, I leave it in here. I pack it up and throw it in my bag. And then when I get to work, uh, I use it. It sits on my desk, open, just like this, all the time, um, next to my laptop and monitors. Um, so as you can see, and I've shown this in the unboxing, but I'll give you guys a little, just a little taste, if you will. But, I mean, you have, it's, it's pretty much, for all intents and purposes, a full-size keyboard. So you're getting everything here with shortcuts for Android. You get your home, you get your back, you get your application button. It, it's fully fully functional and it is it's a great 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 uh, keyboard slash case uh, can't say too much negative about it the only thing I would say that I wish it did do uh, wish that it did is turned off the screen when you close it there's a lot of times I'll be watching a Netflix or something and I'll throw it just close it up throw it in my bag after I pause a Netflix and it stays on which ends up draining the battery down so that being said, aside from that, this is in a fantastic case. Uh, highly, highly recommend it. Again, link will be down below, but I'm gonna try to move through some things quickly here. If you have any questions about this case, you'd like to see a full detailed review, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below that you'd like to see it, and I will take care of that for you. So that is the Logitech keyboard case. Here is the official Samsung book cover. Before I get into this, I'm going to, I've talked to you guys about this in other videos. This is the one way woe that I bought before the book cover was um, available or whatever. And I bought this off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Usually have great, great um, things to say, good results from just these cheaper manufacturing cases. But this one, and like I said, if you've seen earlier videos, I'm sort of repeating myself. It actually took nicks out of the corner of the device. Uh, I don't know if that's, there you go, right there. Now this isn't steel, it's faux plastic, faux steel, uh, it's just plastic. But it has that chrome finish paint on it. This took the paint off in that corner, down here. So, I would say this is not recommended, so this will not be in the links below. This is not recommended. This is garbage. The only reason I've kept it is so I could show you guys in this video. After this video, it's garbage. So, we have the book cover, which is the official Samsung um, case slash cover. And it snaps in beautifully, snug as a bug in a rug, which you would expect from a 
from a, a case from the actual manufacturer. Looks good, good cover, the good feel. The back of it has that faux leather feel, just like the back of the Note, the Note 3, the Note 12, all the, the new devices. Got the faux stitching around it. Doesn't add much thickness, as you can see in here. And the way you use this is, there's magnets on the back side. And this is your setup for like a typing type angle to give it that slight lift. And the way you watch it or lift it straight up is like this, which I'll try to give you a side view here. And what it does is it, it grabs back here and then this part sits on there and then you get your, that's how you stand upright. Not a big fan of that, as I'm not real comfortable with it. It doesn't ever feel sturdy enough for me, but this is a great case for throwing it in your bag, getting on the go, that type of thing. So there we have that case there. Now, a few of the other devices, accessories that I have are ones that I've had from my Note 3. And one that I have here is, it's an S Pen, but is in the size of a regular pen. So here's a closer look. You have your clip here, you have your button down here, and then here's your S Pen tip. Now the, what all this is, is it really a housing. It has a normal size S Pen, comes with it. It goes in this way. You line it up with the button to the button. And then this piece just goes on. Actually there's only one way it can go on because this is cut to fit it in there. Then it just twists on and that's it. You have your same functionality as you would your regular S Pen. Same launch. I mean, everything is exactly the same. But it feels better to me in the hand. It's a lot easier to take notes, to write when you have this compared to that small S Pen. Uh, at least me with larger hands. So again, links for all this will be down below. Now the other S Pen that I have is a little bit, it's an in-between. It's between this one, which would be a large regular size pen, and then you have this one, and then here's your regular S Pen that comes with it. So you have uh, three different sizes. So this one just gives you, it's a little bit bigger. So you have your same functionality but again in the smaller package so there's three well one is built in you have two different varieties of S Pen I like to keep this one in my shirt pocket or close to me and then just use it for jotting down notes this one I don't use that often uh, I, I think I bought this one first and then got this one and then this one just sort of sits on the desk now so another thing that I bought an accessory that I tried because someone left a comment uh, on one of the other videos and were wondering about using this as a presentation to connect it to uh, an external device, a TV, a monitor, I'm sorry, not a monitor, uh, 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 projector. So I try. I bought this, which someone in the description said that it had worked on a Note 2 and I think even a Note 3, but I could not get it to work on this device. So what it is is an HDMI and then a USB and a micro USB. And the way that I understood it is obviously the HDMI goes into the TV, micro USB into the charging port in the device, and then this, like a Chromecast, plugs into the TV for power. I could not get it to work. Um, the only thing I, su I could suggest for someone, uh, they have a Samsung type um, Apple TV, for lack of a better word. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below. I've never done a video on it, but I have tested it, and it does work, and it'll actually mirror your device. Um, but for video, um, music, and pictures alone, I, you can use a few different. You have Castaway, Castaway, which is an app that'll stream to um, your Google uh, Chromecast, and you can do 
you know, like I said, media. Uh, all cast is one that you can do. You can actually hook up. I have two different Apple TVs in a different part of the house. I also have a Chromecast hooked up in my office that's not on right now. That's why I can't see it. But you can stream to any of those devices. I believe it use, it works for Roku too, which I have the Roku stick coming in uh, next week. So that's one way just to send your media to a TV. So that's about it now. Um, again, like I said, I love this device. These are just some of the accessories that I'm using so far. Uh, anything else that you guys would like to see, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get my hands on it. Thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this. Lots of tech, lots of geeky, lots of reviews. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.